we live by the narrative of other people. When I first called a recruiter to be a Navy SEAL and I was 297 pounds, the first recruiter looked at me and said, you're not gonna be able to make this, man. So what he was doing was he's projecting his energy on me. He knew he couldn't be a fucking Navy SEAL. So God helped this black guy, because I was only the 36th African-American to make it through in over 70 years. How's this black fat guy gonna make it through in my ass? He wasn't even willing to try. So he's projecting it. So a lot of us who are negative people, all we do is project how we feel on other people. A lot of times I'll be in a 200 mile run or something like that, and I'm all jacked up. Body's broken, mind's broken, spirit's broken. I start to say, what if I can pull this off? When I first walked into the Navy SEAL recruiter's office, he looked at me and said, there's only been 35 African Americans in 70 years make it through. You know what I said to myself? What if I can be the 36th? It's the what if I can pull off a fucking miracle. What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? And just that, just me talking about that, I have the hair going up on my arms because it makes me just like, what if? So what happens is there's a lot of negative people walking on the planet Earth who are afraid to try because everybody, a lot of people are very negative in this world. So we are afraid to fail. Why? I told you, man. You shouldn't even try it, dude. Just chill out, relax. Why are you so crazy? Why are you so obsessed? So all that stuff drives the uh, quitting mind, I call it. The mind wants to quit. The mind's tired. The mind thinks it's very deserving. So the biggest problem in this world is other people, not yourself. It's other people in your head. They are puppet mastering you pretty much on your life.